Dear viewers, today we are facing a very challenging problem. The problem which was introduced by Yoji Maeda from Takai University, Japan. The problem is the following one. Geodesic lines A and B and CD are given in a three-dimensional hyperbolic space H3. Try to construct a common perpendicular to these geodesics. Use GENMA software to solve this problem. All the necessary manuals can be easily downloaded on our website www.diama-cmd.ru let me remind you that the models of hyperbolic geometry on a Euclidean plane and in a Euclidean space were introduced by Poincaré. Well, that's our problem. Let's have an omega sphere with O center. A and B are the centers of small circles on omega. A prime and B prime are the inversion of A and B in relation to omega. Proof that if A prime B prime is perpendicular to OA, the circles are perpendicular and A prime B is perpendicular to OB. Certainly you can try to move the points yourselves and try also to prove the solution of the problem but what's really important to us is the fact that the circles on the sphere are perpendicular which comes from the fact that the lines OA and AB prime are perpendicular. The proof of the problem that we have just made was done in the spherical geometry. Well, using the results achieved with the use of spherical geometry, let's try to switch to hyperbolic geometry. We are doing this switch right now. Well, Let's get back to our main problem. We will focus on the half space model for that purpose. You know that in Euclidean space we should fix a plane. We call it the boundary plane. The points of space lying on one side of the boundary plane are considered the points of hyperbolic space. The semicircles centered on the boundary plane perpendicular to it and also the rays with vertices at the boundary plane perpendicular to it are considered the geodesics. Let's solve the problem as a special case. Let AB and C infinity be straight lines or geodesics. This C infinity is a ray in the half space model of hyperbolic space. Draw a common perpendicular to these geodesics. Follow the steps. Draw ABC circle and a diameter perpendicular to AB. Draw another OC line which is perpendicular to QC. Then draw a sphere with P center. Remember, the image that we had in spherical geometry. It explains why the red and the blue circles are perpendicular. Now, transform the image by moving the points. Well, you see how easy it is. Well, it's quite clear that the use of spherical geometry makes the solution of the problem much easier. 
And now it's time for us to turn to Poincaré model. In Euclidean space, we fix the boundary sphere. The points of space lying inside the sphere are considered the points of hyperbolic space. The arcs perpendicular to the boundary sphere are considered the geodesics or straight lines. Particularly, the diameter of the sphere is the geodesic line and you can see it very clearly on our image. Then proceed doing an inversion with A center and two AO radius. It makes a stereographic projection of the points on the sphere. Well, you see that AB has turned into a ray from B prime and CD geodesic has turned into a C prime D prime semicircle. M trial point serves as a proof to it. And this problem now appears to be just the same as the one we have already solved as our special case. Do the drawing just as we did that in our special case. Now do the reverse inversion. And that's how we get EF geodesic. Try to move the points. And in some positions of AB and CD geodesics, EF geodesic disappears. What does that mean? Maybe there is no perpendicular. Or the chosen way of drawing does not work. Our dear viewers, we refer this question to you. We hope that it's obvious to you now how rather a difficult geometric problem can easily be solved in just three steps with GENMA software visualizing the process. Thank you for your kind attention and goodbye.